One of the biggest hurdles supporters will face is stigma. Images of long haired hippies dancing at a music festival may come to mind. But science paints a different picture of a drug possibly more effective than antidepressants already on the market. Johns Hopkins researchers have suggested that it be reclassified as a drug in the same category as sleeping pills. It still needs to pass phase three clinical trials, but the FDA is on board and expediting development. Let well, Denver hear your voice. Supporters of Denver's measure say they don't want people who use mushrooms to treat their own depression or anxiety to get in trouble with police. The ballot initiative doesn't make mushrooms legal, but it would prevent the city from prosecuting psilocybin cases. We wanted to know how often people were getting busted in Denver. Turns out, almost never. Of the 9,267 drug cases filed by the Denver District Attorney's Office in the last three years, only 11 involved psilocybin. A tiny fraction of cases, only three of which were possession with intent to manufacture or distribute. Still, some city leaders have decided not to support it. Mayor Michael Hancock worries about an image issue. Colorado was, of course, the first to legalize marijuana. What would it look like if we were cool with doing psychedelic mushrooms, too? Denver District Attorney Beth McCann expressed similar concerns today. A spokesperson for the DA's office said, quote, Denver might become a magnet for those who use this substance. She added that we are still trying to sort out all the impact marijuana legalization is having. But ultimately, the decision on whether or not to give another pass to another illegal drug is up to Denver voters in May. I'm Ryan Herrer, 9 News.